Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Tressalure. This is Soft Wave Bob in the color 10 slash 130R. Look at this, you guys. I just have to tell you, I just filmed my unboxing. This is out of the box. And I was beside myself. This is an adorable, adorable kind of flippy shag. This color is a stunning red. I can't wait to tell you all about it. So if you wanna know more, stick around. First of all, I'd like to thank Tressalure for partnering with me once again so that I could bring another style to all of you. For those of you new to my channel, I just wanna say I do get very, very excited about wigs. I have suffered from hair loss for over 20 years. And so sometimes people question whether or not I can be super excited about everything. And it's true, I do get super excited. There are some wigs that make me more excited than others, but I just am thrilled to be able to bring you guys lots of different styles, lots of different colors. There is nothing more helpful than to see styles and colors on many different women to help you as you're trying to figure out what might work best for you. And so I really am excited to show this one to all of you. And if you have any questions for me after watching any of my reviews, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here to help you, not to sell you a wig. I just wanna bring you lots of information and I'm so blessed to be able to work with wonderful retailers and manufacturers like Tressalor to get you the information that you seek. All right, let's take a look at this from all sides and then I'll start telling you all about her. It's adorable. Now, it's definitely a specific style for a specific woman. Not every person loves flippies. I know I hear from some of you who just can't do the flippies. Well, this is a heat-friendly piece, so if you wanted to tame the flippies by using heat, you absolutely can. You can use a hot air brush, you can use a hot comb, you can use a hair dryer and a round brush, you can use a flat iron. I mean, it is kind of a short, these pieces aren't terribly long, but you can absolutely tame down the flippies if you like everything about it, but you wish it were a little less flippy. If you wish it were a little more flippy, you can take styling cream. Tressler wig wax is amazing for getting um, volume in a wig for getting lift. If you wanted a little more lift on top, you really, really could play with this and make it just perfect for you. Now this piece has a full mono top and a lace front that gives you a lot of styling flexibility with the lace front as good as this one. Tressler is really doing great with their lace fronts. You can take it and get it up off your face. And actually you're seeing my wig grip through this a little bit. Right there, that's my wig grip. I probably should have worn one with a lace piece on it so that you couldn't see that. But what that tells you is that it's a great transparent lace front. And if you don't have any hair at all, it's just gonna look like scalp. If you have bio hair, you might wanna put something to hide your bio hair if it shows through like a, um, a wig cap or something. I've got videos showing you how to do a lot of those types of things, but just so that you know, that's what you're seeing through this. It's my wig grip, but you can take this and you can style it up off your face. Because of that lace front, you could take a clip and you could give yourself a little bump it. You can wear a headband with it. So many great things. And because this has a full mono top, you can actually part it anywhere you want. And it's going to give you the appearance of scalp. Super, super fun. Let's take a look at this cap. So for those of you new, you can see what I mean by a full mono top. So this is a full monofilament top. It means that you can part this anywhere within that space because it's transparent and it gives the appearance of scalp poking through that. That's that lace front. You've got soft ear tabs, extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and then the rest of this is open wefted, helps with coolness and keeps the price point down a little bit. If the more of these hand tied features you have, the more expensive. The, the monofilament top is all hand tied, which means a human being had to tie those, each of those individual fibers in, and that's labor intensive. So that can cost a little bit more, but 
what you pay in dollars, you gain in more realism, truthfully. So let me tell you that this lace front is not an extended lace front. So we've got lace that goes from here to here. So when you pull that hair up, you just want to make sure you're keeping some of this down. Although they did such, look at how good they did with disguising where that lace ends. Sometimes you get this line where the lace meets the cap and it makes it a little bit hard and you have to really be careful. They did a really good job with that. So I don't think you're really gonna have to worry about that too much. Now, this uh, Tressler wigs run, in my opinion, true to average, maybe slightly bigger than average. I definitely think that if you have a 22 to a 20, almost a 23 inch circumference, you're gonna be great with this. I typically cinch my Tressler wigs in just a little bit and I have a 22 inch circumference. They also have lots of stretch. They're some of the stretchiest caps out there for the most part. So if you struggle, maybe you're um, kind of, a little bit toward the big head tribe, not trying to be offensive. A lot of times people refer to it as big head friendly wigs. If your head measurements are just a little bit bigger than average, Tressalore could be a great one to try um, because they sort of straddle that line between average and average large in many of their caps. And this one is definitely doing that. I get really good coverage from Tressalore. These ear tabs come right where I like them to really cover my bio hair. And when that's a good thing is if you're gonna wear a color that's a little bit different than the wig color, because then you don't have to worry about your bio hair blending. And if you're a tucker like I am, this one tucks beautifully. And if you noticed, when I tuck it, it really does tame some of those flippies down. So if you have to work your way up to having a few flippies, maybe you want to like that style, but when you put it on, it's just not, you know, your favorite because you're not used to seeing it, you can tuck. Accessories are always a good thing when you're in the wig wearing journey and you're struggling with certain things with wigs. Bobby pins, claw, little tiny claw clips, um, headbands, all super great with a wig like this. So fibers are heat friendly, like I said, and I know for some people that is sort of the deal breaker for them. You just don't wanna attempt to work with heat friendly fibers. For those of you new, maybe you don't know, heat friendly fibers have a level of realism that regular synthetic often don't. They feel super realistic. They're not generally shiny like regular synthetic can be. I personally am growing to love heat-friendly fibers for the realism, for how they feel. And Tressler's heat-friendly fibers are super, super realistic. I love the feel. They're silky. They feel just like human hair to me. And they give you some styling flexibility. Now, in longer pieces, they often need a little bit extra care because the saying is heat friendly fibers need heat. And when they, when they rub up on your clothing, when there's friction, it can cause a little bit of frizzing and fraying of the ends of heat friendly fibers. This is a great length for a heat friendly wig because it's not, unless you're wearing a turtleneck, it's really not rubbing up on your clothing. I, from the bottom of my heart, I mean this in all sincerity, if you have been afraid to try heat friendly fibers, but you can wear shorter pieces, please don't eliminate them from your closet because I really think that there's a lot of benefit to them in a length like this or shorter for sure. So I wouldn't worry about the care or the maintenance of this piece because of the length. It's really great. And this piece doesn't have a lot of hair. So for those of you who want you know, you, you don't mind, you don't want a heavy density, but you don't mind a little moderate density. I'd say this is moderate to low, low to moderate, not super low density, but not heavy density. And it's got just a little bit of permatease back here and right at the crown area that gives that back the style and the lift that this has. Without any permatease, this would not be able to hold the wave pattern that this has, and it would fall really flat, especially throughout the day. One of the things I tell people all the time who are completely permatease adverse, unless you're looking for the flattest possible wig in a straight style, Permatease can be your friend in the right amounts because what it does is this wig right here has just a little bit of volume here. Without permatease, not only would you not really achieve it, there's just little tiny bit of crimpy fibers in here. It's not super poofy or pillowy, but what happens when you wear wigs for long periods of time, the heat of your head and gravity 
will flatten those wigs out and they will not hold their shape. I experienced this often when I was working um, outside the home. I work from home now, but when I was working outside the home, I would be gone for 10, 11 hours. By hour five at work, I would go to the bathroom and I looked bedraggled. My hair fell, not unlike bio hair. So in that sense, it's natural. But when we wear wigs, after a period of time, you don't want it to fully act like bio hair. You love the fact that your hair always looks great. Permatease helps achieve that. So if you're my wig sister who avoids permatease, but you're looking at this style and you like what you see, I will tell you, it has a little bit of permatease, not a lot, appropriate for the style, worth trying in my opinion. All right, everyone, let's talk about color. 10 slash 130R. Tressalure has some really gorgeous reds. I actually have reviewed a number of their reds. So if you are a redhead or you want to be a redhead, Tressalure has some great ones. This is such a beautiful red. It's a really good blend of a um, kind of a medium light brown and a vibrant coppery red but it is not in your face. And so they've got a lot of that copper and the boldness sort of up here. And then they've got a little bit of a more muted auburn back there. Do you see that? So fun. This is a, kind of a cross between a, a medium dark auburn and a copper so beautiful. I am really loving their reds. That's the top. We'll get outside so you can see this color outside. I'm just a real fan. And I love the pops. I don't know if I can really get that inside here, but there are some really significant pops of copper right up in the front here. Like a bright, coppery burgundy red it's kind of hard to describe but it really adds interest and looks like you have a good hair colorist and look at how easy it is just to pop this on this to me is like the epitome of a throw and go and because of the length and because of the style i think you can kind of tame it down a little bit and make it look, you know, really fun and sort of straddling the line between professional and fun. But you can really get in there, especially like with wig wax or other styling products. And you can really like take this from office to nightclub or whatever you want to do. All right, you guys, I'm rambling. I just really love wigs like this. I love how they showcase so many different options and um, can be really accessible to a lot of people. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Thank you once again, Tressalure, for sending me this so that I could show all my wig sisters. And if you guys have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to ask. I appreciate you all. Oh, I'm stumbling over my words. I appreciate you all so very much. And if you leave comments on my videos and don't get a response from me, I do try to respond, but sometimes I get a lot of comments and I can't get to them all. If you have a burning question, you can always reach me at Hey, wig sister at gmail.com. My email is in the description of this video. You can also message me on Instagram or Facebook if we happen to be friends there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. All right, everyone, here we are outside. It is a bright, sunny day. I don't get very many full Sundays here in the winter, and it's almost 50 degrees. If you are a fellow Minnesotan like me, today is a happy to be alive day. This weather is stunning. All right, let's take a look at this in the full sunlight. This is really going to make these reds pop. Keep in mind, lighting dramatically affects synthetic wigs. So how it looks outside and how it looks inside will vary. I would say that it's going to be really popping and the vibrancy in bright light like this. And it's going to be a little bit more muted inside. I can't even see my screen because it's so bright. Really hope that I'm getting a good look for you guys. I also don't want to block and shadow this with my phone. 
All right, so if you have questions, let me know. But hopefully that helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, everyone. Here is my unboxing. Great to see what this looks like straight out of the box. And I had never seen it before. I had no idea what to expect. So you'll see my reaction because, you know, of course, this is the type of style that I would find really cute. And this color. I love the color. As you can see, this looked amazing out of the box. Very, very little that needed to be done. No real box hair. Very, very, very easy to throw and go. You will know real quick if this is the right style for you if you decide to try it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.